Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem. Hitting you all with a late night recording. And by late night I mean 1.30. Because I have good time management skills. Oh boy. Anyway, last time we met Dorcas and um, protected his wife Natalie from harm. Today, um, well it's something. It's gonna be something. I think we're gonna learn about magic today. Well anyway, uh, let's just go ahead and listen oh my god this really is europe that looks like the european okay whatever um so yeah let's let's go ahead and uh listen to the opening narration shall we ahem the next morning comes too quickly lynn has fought back the bandits attack lynn oh bleh. now she rushes for the border of burn if she can reach it lycia itself is not far off for a moment Lynn stops to imagine the face of a grandfather she's never seen. I'm sure it's not that bandit that just showed up. Like, that's not what she was expecting. But, hey, whatever. Beyond the borders. Is this magic? Is this the magic chapter? I mean, thinks it is. He thinks it is. Anyway, yeah, we've almost reached the Lycian border. Because we'll be safe from the bandits, right? Uh, we should be. I doubt they'll be willing to pursue us across the border. Uh, listen, it last been a long time, okay? Yeah, this is just exposition stuff. You know, they can't wait to get there and, you know, sleep and eat and, in Sane's case, womanize. Yes, you know, I mean, it's, it's pretty great, right? Maybe. I don't know. Huh, if your behavior is as deplorable as ever, we'd best stay elsewhere. We're not here for sightseeing. Damn right, Kent. We're on a mission, and that mission does not involve womanizing. But I guess they are going to stay at an inn. Okay. And Will is just like the fourth wheel here. He's just watching all this going on. He's like, why am I here? This is so awkward. I forgot she's here, too. And where's Dorcas in all of this? Eh, whatever. And speaking of bandits, my God. God, you you need to go to the dentist, man. Ah, uh, here they are. I found them. What? Not again. They're still after us? Heh <laughs> Don't think you're getting away so easily. You leave alive and everyone will think the Gandalin bandits have gone soft. So, we care nothing for you or your reputations. We must get to Lycia. Get in our way and you'll pay. Wow, Lynn's a poet and she didn't even know it. Uh, cheeky little thing, aren't you? Let's get them, lads. And no holding back just because there's women with him. Wipe him out. Oh, what happened to your code? See, I was so right. This is, yeah, they're about to introduce us to magic. So, yeah, these two people, they're lost. Uh, you told me you were certain this was the correct path. What's your point, Erk? Could have had a better name, though. I mean, Erk? 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 Oh, well, whatever. Uh, what are you trying to say? I swear you are not the woman I agreed to escort. Oh, oh. Looks like he's stuck on an escort mission. I know that feel. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's rough. It's rough. It's rough. I understand, Erk, but you gotta persevere. What's that supposed to mean? I heard someone was needed to escort a frail Lycian priestess to Ostia. Yes, and I'm that priestess. Frail? You? Sarah, you have no need of any escort to protect you. Well, she's a cleric, and clerics don't attack physically in this game, so yeah, she kind of does need somebody to protect her. Even the most hardened criminal would flee in terror after five minutes in your company. Burn. Burn. Return your money gladly. Now will you please go on to Ostia alone? No, you are my escort, Eric. Mine. You're so clean and tidy. A noble woman like myself can't be seen without a proper escort. Your personality is nothing special, but you're not bad to look at. I believe that's my line. And I have to take you all the way to Ostia? I only hope my nerves can endure the journey. What are you mumbling about? You're so gloomy. Hmm? Something's happening over there. Let's take a look. Uh, of course. The first opportunity to get involved in trouble and she jumps right in. No amount of money is worth this. <laughs> Yeah, I know that feel, Irk. I know that feel. Okay, so... Like, why, why, why do you even care? Young girl, technically, aren't y'all the same age? I gotta look up Sarah's age. I, I, I don't know how old she is. I don't know 
know how old any of these people are. Fool, keep your voice down. Eh, what's this? You're in league with that she-devil? Ah, this is so wrong. I'll take care of you at one swift stroke. And she's screaming. You're standing right next to him. I mean, it's like, eh, whatever. Uh, you there, see if you can match me. Aw, oh, damn, Erk. Come on, man, you could have dodged that. It was only a 74% chance. I love the animations of the magic users, though. I, I just do. The attack animations in general in this game are just really good to look at. Okay, sometimes you can talk to different NPCs, the green units on the map. The process is the same as talking to enemies. Give it a try. Press, uh, please select Lin. I like how they're telling us this, like, no, no I, 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 it never once crossed my mind that I could talk to NPCs, like I could talk to enemies as well. Technically, enemies are NPCs because you're not technically playing as an enemy, so they are non-playable characters. Whatever, let's talk to Sarah. And you know what that music means. I mean, it was painfully obvious, anyway. I mean, well, whatever. Why are you fighting these bandits? It just happened. That's not true. Those ruffians thought we were with you. You got us into a terrible situation. Now, how are you going to get us? Technically, Sarah, you got yourself into this situation by poking your nose where it didn't belong. You were like, ooh, something's going on over here. Let's go watch. Yeah, well, whatever. Sarah, if you not been so meddlesome, this all could have been avoided. Yep, see, er, he's the thinker of the group. He understands. He knows. And Lynn does raise a good point. You know, I mean, you're, you're in for the penny. Might as well be in for the buck. I mean, you're already fighting them. Might as well join us, you know, join up with us and, you know, fight them quicker. You know, with more firepower. <laughs> and she just commands him to go help out. So tell me, will you join arms with us? Yes, we'd be glad to. My name is Sarah. This is my escort, Eric. Eric Splee. Be a good boy and go fight now, Eric. I feel so bad for him. And he just has like a look of perpetual, just done with this shit look on his face. Like it's it's amazing. So yep, mage and a cleric have joined your group. Mages use the magic of truth. No, they don't. No, they don't. They're, they're... The magic of truth? What are they, Wonder Woman now? No. They... No, they, they use, like, anima magic, like, not not anime, anima, you know, sort of like, you know, built around nature and stuff, you know, fire and thunder and wind and truth? I'm offended by that. Anyway, clerics use staffs to restore HP to their allies. Let's try them both. First, select Sarah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm, she's talking to me, okay, yes, yes. Can we can we just get this awkward exchange over with? Okay, his em employer, his master, I, he would not be happy to hear that. Healing him free of charge. What kind of cleric are you where you would charge your people to heal? Well, okay, I say that, but I mean, like, if you go to a church and dragon quest slash dragon warrior... You have to pay to, like, revive your people and stuff, and that is kind of messed up. My god, healthcare is just messed up in all the video game worlds, huh? It's like Pokemon is the only good healthcare system. You don't have to pay for, it, like, healing in Pokemon. I mean, granted, you're not really healing yourself, you're healing your Pokemon. So, okay. I don't even know what I'm trying to get at. Anyway, clerics cannot wield weapons, therefore they cannot engage in combat. However, they can use their staffs to restore HP to allied units. Besides healing staves, which restore HP, or staves, however you want to pronounce that, there are other staves with different abilities. It's always a good idea to test out any new abilities you receive, so let's do that now. Have Eric demonstrate his magic. Begin by selecting Eric. Yeah, okay. We're about to finish off that archer. It's about to show us the true power of magic. I was going to move him to this uh, mountain, but he'd be in direct line of fire of that mercenary, and you really don't want to mess with uh, physical altercations with magic users. Look at that defense. Granted, he is at level one, but still, that HP and that defense, 
it's not worth it. Magic like Dork says, throwing axe can strike enemies on adjacent. Yes, we know. It's very useful. Magic can penetrate even the strongest defenses. So we used in many situations. Remember, mages have few HP. That few HP? Okay, and low, well, I guess that does make grammatical sense. Few hit points, all right. And low defensive abilities. To avoid counterattacks, move in close to archers and attack from other, and attack other fighters from one space away. Oh, wait. No, I can move them right here and then just move one of them in front of them. That's the smart thing to do. Why you no attack twice now? And whatever, at least you beat them. Yeah, okay. And yeah, these are regular houses. All they do is just have tips for us. I may or may not be visiting them. Okay, so Dorcas, uh, you're moving through the forest. It's gonna be pretty hard for you to move. I wonder if he'll go for Florina first. Actually, wait, I am so self-conscious right now. Okay, she'll be fine. I do not take any chances when there is a um, archer on the same map as a uh, peg knight. Like, that is not something you really want to risk. Okay. Can you kill this bandit in one go? Really? Can you kill this bandit in one go? Yes, you can. Really saying, if you worked on your speed, I would be more willing to, you know, like, let you kill more enemies. My god, Kent is really becoming my best unit right now. Oh, well, okay, he's, he's tied with Lin, I guess. Okay, we're good. Wow, he did attack Urk, okay. That critical hit ratio, though. Granted, it's a one, but crazier things have happened. Okay. Yeah, why not? We'll let Florina get experience, because that's going to be like the only... Really? Okay. I mean, that really is going to be like the only unit on this map she can get experience from beating. Once I get her in close to that archer. Oh, well, no, we got a mercenary right there. Yeah, I, I, I forgot about him. And by forgot, I mean didn't realize he was there to begin with. There we go. Only luck went up. They couldn't even give her one HP, like one, one hit point. They couldn't even do that for me. For real. That just happened. That just happened. I am fed up with this world. And everything in it. Just. I have no words. Anyway, uh, a smart idea when you have a cleric or any other healing unit is to always have them heal. Even if they're only healing one HP, have them heal that one HP because healing is the only way they're going to get experience. So yeah, like they're really hard to level up. So that's why if you just focus on making sure, you know, they're um, always healing, they're always going to get experience. I feel like I repeated myself multiple times and didn't really say much there, but whatever. I am so glad you avoided that saying the trash I would have talked about you had you missed. Okay. Where can I stand to lure him out? Uh... Okay, I'll move Kent into the archer's range and then just have somebody go in for the kill. Maybe Urk. Okay, speed and defense, not bad, not bad. I can dig it. Iron sword, do you need a new iron sword, Lynn? 
you're close. But then, eh. Oh my god. No, no. yeah, you're gonna be uh, trading. Okay, please tell me you're gonna take. Yes, all right. Just want to make sure of stuff. Okay. We'll leave Dorcas and Lynn right there. Well, I'll move Dorcas right there. Will right there. And Sarah, I, I don't know. You can just chill right there. Okay. Yeah, I know he's on the house, but whatever. He'll still, like, be destroyed. Attack twice, Florina. Florina, we, we, we need to have a talk. Hmm. I could have Florina just ruin this guy's day. And I think I shall. Okay. Please don't kill him, Sane. Oh my god. Oh my god. Huh. Okay, well, I'm... Huh. I'm actually disappointed that I can't... Oh my god! This is horrible. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, maybe you can weaken this guy? Like, there is seriously no way. Okay, yeah. Fine, whatever. Go ahead. We'll just end the chapter then. There'll be more time to raise everybody's levels up. Like, I really wanted to get Florina up there to beat the archer, but eh, it's not going to be the case. So, who's at the lower level? Okay. Saying go ahead and just, yeah, use your lance. Why not? Just to save durability on the sword for now. And then let's go ahead and see what we can get here in the armory. Hmm. Okay, well I'm gonna go ahead and get a javelin. No need to get a new hand axe or iron bow just yet. Okay. And I'll actually let Florina hold on to that. Okay. Anybody she can heal? Okay. She's kind of bringing up the rear, but hey, you know, that that's how it's going to have to be. Anybody she can heal, though? Uh, can't... And sane. Okay. Fine, we'll just go ahead. This will be the only house we visit. Are you using the R button? Way to break the fourth wall, NPC. Yeah, it tells you about detailed information, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for telling me about a mechanic that I had already been using. For, like, the duration of the game. And like I said, I know it's just one HP, but that's the only way she's going to be gaining experience. Also, because I'm self-conscious, I'm just going to go ahead and just leave Florina out of his range, even though he wasn't moving to begin with. But, eh, you never be too careful. Seriously, you can never be too careful in Fire Emblem, because bad things happen. Okay, yeah, he's stationary. That's cool. 
Okay, yeah, he can take him out on the diagonal. Four, really? Hey, you're gonna learn why people fear the Gandolin bandits. Well, I mean, I haven't learned for two levels already, so I mean, I doubt you're really gonna teach me anything. Bug. Looks like I'm gonna squash this bug. Oh, <laughs> I may not be able to heal Kent. We shall see. Holy crap. Holy crap. Um, I actually want Ert to get this experience from beating him. Okay. This should be fine. Just equip the Iron Sword and wait. Okay. Weapon level increased. That's good. That's good. Hmm. Okay, we'll go ahead and heal. And can you weaken him even more without? Yes, you can. And if you get a critical hit, I'm disowning you, Kent. Thank you. Yeah, Sarah wasn't gonna get a lot of experience in this uh, level. Huh. Like, theoretically speaking, if you play well enough, you could be at a point where your clerics can never, like, level up. Theoretically speaking. Uh, blah, scum. You're all scum, says the bandit that sells women into slavery. Like, uh, okay. No, yeah, we're, we're scum. Us. We're the scum. We are... Oh my god. I, his logic. It confuses me. If you can even call that logic. Yes, well, thank you. Yes, I, I do think I did a really nice job on that uh, map. Surprise, you're very strong, Lin. Your staff is a wondrous thing. Healing powers amaze me. Only those in the service of good can wield them. You helped us tremendously. Well, it's time for us to go. Take care. Goodbye, Lin. Very well. You too, Erk. Goodbye. Well, let us be on our way, Erk. What have we here? Another... Oh, dear lord. <laughs> it's sane. Oh God, why? And besides, you were with the Okay, well, I guess he's learning. He wasn't flirting in the midst of battle. He's just flirting now that we're done. This is just so, ugh. Because I hate saying so very much. Sarah is not really a lyrical name, but okay, uh, we'll, we'll just let him roll with it. I ain't trying to mess up his game, I guess. Lynn, a member of the Marquis family? She is the granddaughter of our Lord, the Marquis. Uh, I don't think you should be telling this information to everybody in passing. Having a person of power in your debt is never a bad thing. See, see what you did saying? See what you did? You think we could join the Lady Lynn's company? She seems like such a nice person and I would ever so much like to help her. This girl. She has a dark side. You can never trust them pink-haired girls, I'm telling you. Oh my god, you really can't, actually. Like, I'm just... So many games and, like, shows and cartoons and anime are coming to mind where it's like... The pink-haired girls... Are just, like... Batshit crazy. Huh. Alright, yeah, more fighting power and whatnot. Are you being hunted or something? Yes, it's an inheritance dispute. Assassins everywhere. Even though we were only dealing with bandits so far, but okay. Oh my, in that case, my healing staff and Irk's magic should come in handy. Well, I... It sounds dangerous. Your staff and magic would be extremely helpful. Please wait here. I will go and speak with Lady Lindis on your behalf. Unbelievable. This is fantastic, Irk. Our good deeds will earn us gratitude beyond imagining. I think I'm going to be ill. Yep, yeah, like just when you think you're on a simple escort mission, 
bam, a new objective just gets thrown on you. You gotta feel bad for Urk. You just gotta feel bad for him. Little girl, cross the border? Yes, Lord Lundgren. She's en route to Arafin. Fool, send out soldiers to meet her. Hold nothing back. Do anything to finish this now. First the old man and now the girl. They cling to life like a drowning man to a rock. They double the poison strength. How, how do you double the poison strength? But Okay, whatever. If he struggles, hold him down and pour it down his throat. Once the girl is gone, Kaelin is mine. I will let no one stand in my way. That evil, evil son of a gun. But next time, we're going to be going to Chapter 6. I don't even know like what, what it's called. Um, I don't know. Well, we'll find out next time. So, yep, next time, more Fire Emblem. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day, and see you next time for some more Let's Play Fire Emblem. These intros and outros are just all kinds of bad, but considering the next chapter like immediately starts upon saving... I kind of need to do this, but all right. See y'all next time. Goodbye.